Hello once again, good morning, good evening, good night, whenever you happen to be watching this. This is Hiro Uzuki with part 14-2, I guess, of my blind Resident Evil 2 LP. I'm calling it Dash 2 because I'm going to be spending a little time here in the police station. Yes, last time I somehow ended up here. Which, you know, is a welcome change from the, uh, sewers. Well, sort of. I have some film to develop. About some hiding places. Then, and, well, you know, there's... Two items, maybe, that I'm missing. Seriously, I thought I would have cleaned out the library. Yes, I'm still going to be a little bit paranoid walking these halls, because who knows what the hell's gotten in here since I was gone. Mine. I guess I reloaded that previous save again because I wanted to try and save ammo. Shotgun ammo specifically. Because I realize it might irk some people. But this is just my personal opinion. No amount of getting good is going to save my ass in here. In this game. Or in any horror game, really. It just suddenly hit me. Why exactly am I going this way? I could have just gone to the dark room from on the first floor. Eh, whatever. I'm already here now. I am hearing something out there. Or in the halls, anyway. Okay, so... Alright, I should probably examine this real quick. Again. Yes, it says hiding places, so... Maybe some goodies? Okay, well, I know where one of those are. That one up at the top is the stars room. I know that because, well, I've been in that room enough times to know. The other one, not quite sure where that is. Shit, there are so many desks in this place. Dude, that could be anywhere. It'd be too much to hope that that's also in the star's room. Hey, 
I keep thinking another zombie is going to fall right through that window. It's unsettling, and I don't like it. I wish I had another board. <clears throat> I could really use some stars right now. Okay, you mean I couldn't open this before? Children, let this be a lesson to you. Open all the droids of any desk you come across. Eh? Can I? Okay, I can grab that too. There wasn't a prompt, so I was wondering if maybe I couldn't. Rising Rookie. No, wooden box. What do I get? What do I get? Red dot sight. Nice. So, not only do I have the, the long barrel to make my bullets hurt like hell. I now have the dot sight so I can get a focused shot a lot quicker. That is nice. Right now, this Magnum is my best friend. Sorry, Remy Mark II, but you're nothing like the original Remy. The sound you make when I pull your trigger just doesn't make me feel safe. Go ahead and develop this film here real quick as I rack my brain and try and figure out where that other hiding spot is. Oh wait, you know, I think I know what that noise is. It's that liquor from the, uh, from the hallway next to the record room. Wesker, I had no idea you were into young children. Well, she's not exactly a child, but you know what I mean. Who knew he was scalping out someone? Run, Rebecca! Is there still some film to be developed? I don't think I have it. Oh, got all this shit taken care of. Just to be safe.
That sound I was hearing from that Laker was awfully close. Like he was right around the corner. And that was really fucking unsettling. Place with the stereo and a microphone. Uh, also, red walls. <laughs> First thing that comes to mind is the press room. I'll go ahead and check there. I mean, it seems a bit too easy. I imagine it's going to be someplace upstairs. And one of these purses is going to stand back up. Holy shit, I got him in one shot. What was he doing in here to begin with? I just skimmed over this place, so I didn't exactly remember seeing it. Fuel. Fuel for a flamethrower. Well, that didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. Might as well go ahead and grab that green herb while I'm here, just cause. I'm getting access to a flamethrower yet again. My only question is, is it actually worth it this time? I don't know whether or not this is a popular opinion, but I didn't exactly think the flamethrower in the original game was all that. I really only used it once. It was a bit underwhelming. Oh. 
Excuse me, sir, but I need this. In fact, I probably didn't even need to shoot him at all. Ow! God damn it! Why did I think I could do that? In fact, I thought I already fell through that hole. If I did, then did somebody somehow magically patch that back up just so I would fall through? Nah, <sighs> whatever. Okay, I'll go ahead and stash both these in here. And I'll think I'll go ahead and call this an episode. So, uh, yeah. If you uh, like what you saw, consider hitting that like button, leave me a comment, and maybe subscribing to the channel. With that, this is Hiro Uzuki, signing off. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.